Hello. <clears throat> so we are going to start discussing about this topic, the name of which is data analytics and the auditor. I've opened in front of you um, uh, one of the examiner article that has been published with respect to data analytics. You see a lot of the students getting worried about the data analytics when it comes to this uh, audit examination. And every student is actually uh, worried that uh, how is this data analytics going to be examined. Uh, so before we go on discussing about how the data analytics is going to be examined, uh, first of all, it's important to be able to understand that what data analytics is. First of all, it is important to understand that what data analytics is. Now, when we talk about data analytics is, data analytics is simply when you have got the raw, raw data, what you do is that you simply group that data, you simply categorize that data, and you actually uh, extract information uh, from that specific data, you generate various types of reports, you generate various types of graphs, you generate various types of uh, uh, bar charts, etc, etc. That is what is generally considered to be data analytics. Uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, open up uh, one of the uh, one of the um, uh, websites that we recently tried and I'm going to show you how the data analytics actually works. Okay, uh, this is uh, Wix.com's website. Uh, we, have, uh, uh, we have obtained a template of uh, Wix.com website. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to guide you about how this Wix.com actually uh, works and how does it actually shows the analytics of, and, and how does it show the analytics so that you can understand what data analytics is all about. Now see, this is uh, one of the admin panel that is actually going to open up in front of you. Uh, you could see that what is happening. Um, this is an analytics overview. It is actually showing me, uh, I'll say last three months, let's say. Uh, we have just uh, created a landing page on this website for some time now. Uh, see, it says that you've got 1348 visits on your website during these last three months period and you've got 1016 unique visitors. So what is happening is there are so many visitors coming in and it's simply analyzing the data into who are the visitors and who are actually the unique visitors. Now, if I click on this visitor, so I'll get more insights about who the visitors are, when did they actually visit it? Uh, it's actually showing me that this website is in existence from 31st of July, this many visitors visited on 31st July uh, this many on the 17th of August, this many on the 2nd of August, this many on the one on the 5th of August, and then you've got another bump which is here on the 119, which is on the 23rd of August, and then it's operating slowly and gradually. It's also showing me the traffic sources that how the traffic sources are. It's showing me the traffic source by source that where exactly is the traffic coming from directly when the people would have typed myscriber.com by device, from mobile phone, from desktop, et cetera, et cetera. If I go on and if I try to extract more analytics with respect to this specific website, so I can actually go on with respect to the traffic overview also, that where exactly am I getting my traffic from? So I'm generating this traffic by location, let's say. Uh, let me just see traffic by, I've not used it much, but whatever that I've used it, I'll, I'm using it to explain to you people that how this actually works. In. So it is actually showing me that how the traffic has been generating for, let's say, um, the last 90 days. Uh, when it's actually going to be showing the city map, I could probably do is that I could go for the table view also. So it's actually going to generate the table view. Now see, what does it tell us? It tells us that this many site session, this many unique visitors, the average duration of each session. And then it's also showing us that what is the referral source and et cetera, visitor retention. Uh, how are returning visitors, how many are returning visitors? How many are unique visitors? Then it's showing the traffic by location that where exactly is the traffic coming from? Say it's coming from Karachi. It's coming from, uh, like it says the unique visitors coming from Karachi 
the people coming on the website from Abu Dhabi, from uh, Saudi, etc., etc. There are various uh, locations from which the visitors are coming from. It's showing the visitors on the map. Now, I could have actually gone on for further uh, visits, but my objective is just to help you people understand what data analytics is. So now what was actually happening? They had the raw data and they actually categorized the raw data into the visits. They categorized raw data into the unique visits. They categorized raw data into the traffic source. They categorized the raw data into the locations, etc., etc., etc. This is all that I got. So when it comes to data analytics, remember data analytics is simply when you transform when you transform the raw data into the different types of the reports, different types of information that is considered to be the concept of data analytics. Now, um, when it comes to the data analytics used by the audit firm, so this article is specifically mentions about the various uses that an audit firm could actually have with respect to this data analytics. It says examples of the use of data analytics to perform the audit procedures include what? Number one, NRV testing, which is comparing the last time an inventory item was purchased with the last time it was sold and at what price. Now let's just try to understand what is actually going to happen. What actually is going to happen with respect to it is that if you have got an item of inventory, which is item A, and you as an auditor are finding it uh, that uh, we need to figure out what are slow moving inventories. We need to figure out what are the inventory where we need to ensure that the obsolescence is actually recognized. So what you would simply do is that you would simply compare the last time an inventory item was purchased with the last time it was sold. How would you do it? What would you do? You would simply compare the stats. You would simply compare the facts and figures. That is simply what you are going to do. The second thing is it says analysis of revenue trends by product and region. So I told you simply how the website analytics works. The same thing could happen with respect to an entity. You could simply perform the analytical procedures through the software which are used for the data analytics. And there could be many more things which are going to be done through this specific audit, uh, through this specific uh, data analytics software. So now, how does it all works? What actually happens is, when you go to a client, you ask the client, where is your data held? Is it held in a server? or is it held in uh, XYZ system or where exactly is it held or is it held on a cloud storage? Where is it held? And what you do is that you run your data analytics software on that. You run your data analytics software on that. And once you run your data analytics software, then what happens is the reports are extracted. The reports are extracted and the reports are extracted much to your suiting, much to your desires, much to what you actually want. And on the basis of that report, what happens is you are able to identify the risk. You are able to identify the transaction which need more substantive testing. Etc, etc, etc. So when it comes to data analytics, let's just try to understand what data analytics is and how it could be used with respect to the audit. Now there are different benefits that are mentioned with respect to data analytics. So the first one of them is uh, it says increase business understanding. Whenever you perform the audit, an important aspect of performing the audit is obtaining business understanding. What is it? It's obtaining business understanding. So when it comes to obtaining of the business understanding, that's one thing that you get because you get to have more insights about the business when it comes to data analytics. The second thing is better focus on risk. Why? Because what happens is it identifies the unusual trends it identified the unusual items, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you can more focus towards those risks. Uh, the third thing is increase consistency across group audits, because what happens is you've got the component auditors who are involved with respect to the group audit. And when you've got the component auditors who are involved, so at times one of the component auditor may not perform the thorough audit and you when running the data analytics software can perform more thorough audit. The fourth one of them is increase efficiency because it's actually the system who is doing it. And at times you can even go for 100% testing also. The fifth one of them is the data can be more easily manipulated. Just like I told you that I can have the traffic by map, I can have the traffic by list, 
I can have the traffic by city, I can have the traffic by country, etc. etc. The sixth one of them is increase fraud detection. Now try to understand this thing. For example, you say that the sales are worth, let's say, 400 million. And then you say the number of transactions that exist is, let's say, 1,000. And you say none of the transaction is, none of the transaction exceeds three, um, none of the transaction exceeds 3,000 or 300,000. So if none of the transaction exceeds 300,000, how could you have the total sale of 400 million? So that's more of an indicator of the fraud that is going to happen because once you run the data analytics software, it actually creates a dashboard for you, which figures out the key information. The seventh one of them is it can help add value to the client. It can be shared with the client to help value, add value to the client. So these are the various advantages when it comes to the data analytics software. The key challenges or the key issues with respect to the data analytics is number one, data privacy and confidentiality. At times what happens is you could copy the data. At times you are using the third party software. At times you are using, you are accessing the cloud of the entity. So a lot of things could happen with respect to the uh, accessing of those specific data. The second thing is that um, the audit client may be reluctant to allow the sufficient form, uh, sufficient access to the form to the systems. So ultimately what happens is the completeness or basically the preconditions for the audit may not be fulfilled. The third thing is the completeness and integrity of the extracted client data may also be in doubt. The number fourth one of them is the compatibility issues of the uh, audit analytics software. Uh, with that of the client software, with that of the client system. So that could also happen. So basically, overall, what is going to happen is when it comes to the data analytics, remember that data analytics is going to add value. It's going to increase the efficiency. It's going to increase the result of the audit. But at the same time, it has got challenges also. And the challenges could be a lot. And majorly, the challenges could be the data confidentiality. The challenges could be the compatibility, et cetera, et cetera. These could be the challenge. So be ready for it in the examination. If you come across any of the topics, any of the scenarios with respect to data analytics, so you should know what data analytics is, what could be the benefits, what could be the disadvantages, and what could be the item which could be used, which could be analyzed using this data analytics software.